each ancient culture dealt with death in its own way. The one thing they all had in common, however, was that the treatment of the physical body after death was directly tied to their view of the soul's experience in the afterlife. To some, mummification was the answer. To others, a simple burial. Some would speak to the bones of their dead ancestors for centuries, and some would toss those bones on the ground and translate them as a form of mystical divination. And whether for spiritual practice or to combat the spread of disease, Cremation on the funeral pyre was practiced by hundreds of primitive cultures worldwide, burning the bodies of their dead until all that was left was a pile of ash and charred bone. From 2700 to 1790 BCE, the ancient Egyptians buried their people of status in tombs and pyramids. Though they chose mummification over cremation, Many believe that the use of burned bone as a paint pigment took place in the elaborate wall paintings found in these burial chambers before finding its way into Greek and Roman art soon after. Bone black would be used throughout European medieval and Renaissance era art. It's appeared in the paintings of everyone from Da Vinci to Rembrandt to Picasso, and now it's found its way into my work. For my part, it's a way of tapping into ancient artistic practices. But it's also a method of showing honor to the animal whose bones were used to create the pigment and ultimately the paint. It's a way of immortalizing the life of this creature for centuries. I found the skull I used to create this bone black paint while exploring for raw earth and mineral pigments. Between it and the few small bones I found around it, I was able to create enough pigment to make three paintings. Those paintings are currently available on my website.